بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على إشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. My dear brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Allah subhanahu wa taala has many names. ولله الأسماء الحسنى فدعوه بها. In the Quran, there are around 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa taala. But there are two names of Allah. that we often hear, we often mention. In fact, these two names are always mentioned every time we recite a surah in the Qur'an. Bismillahi ar-Rahmani ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The most compassionate, the most merciful. There has to be a reason for this, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amongst his many names has chosen his name ar-Rahman, the most compassionate, Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, as names that are often recited by Muslims. In fact, we are encouraged by the Prophet ﷺ to always say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, to begin all our good deeds, all our actions, when we wake up in the morning, to eat, to go to work, to study, to read, to recite, to pray. We read in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. And the reason for this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that first and foremost, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most compassionate, the most merciful. Allah is about rahmah, is about mercy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extends his rahmah to all of us, to all his creations. In fact, the month of Ramadan is the month of Allah's mercy, of Allah's rahmah. And this means that Allah's mercy is within reach. It is accessible to each and every one of us. Regardless of who we are, whatever circumstances we are in, we can always attain Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. It is not something that Allah preserves or Allah keeps for certain groups of people. But Allah is the creator, is ready to extend his mercy and compassion, his rahmah to each of his creation. But there are ways to get there. And some of us think that we will only attain Allah's mercy, Allah's rahmah, through actions, through good deeds. Let us listen to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he explains about Allah's rahmah and mercy. Ar-Rahimun yarhamuhum ar-Rahman irhamu man fil ard irhamkum man fil sama. Those who have mercy and compassion in their hearts, they are the ones that Allah will extend his mercy to. So therefore show your mercy and compassion to those on earth, and that who is in heaven will show his mercy to you. So mercy and Allah's rahmah is really about our attitude, the value that we keep in our, ourselves, and our ability to deal with people, to deal with the rest of Allah's creations in a very compassionate manner. The way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is not just through prayer, but not to also raise our hands in prayer, but to raise our hands to help other people out of the compassion in our hearts. And through that action, inshallah, we will also get Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. In fact, Allah says in the Quran, Inna rahmatullahi qareebun min al-muhsineen. Indeed, the rahmah of Allah is very close, is very near to those who have ihsan in their hearts, those who do good deeds to other people. who help other people in the moments of challenges and difficulties, in the moments of hardship, and that will bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. There's a very interesting verse in the Quran about Allah's mercy, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ فَسَأَكْتُبُهَا لِلَّذِينَ يَتَّقُونَ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاهِ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِنَا يُؤْمِنُونَ My mercy, Allah says in Surah Al-A'raf, encompasses Everything, as I've said earlier, it is not beyond the reach of humankind. Allah's mercy encompasses everything, and Allah will write it specifically, and Allah will offer His mercy specifically to those who are pious, God-conscious, and those who offer the alms, pay the zakat. And zakat here means that you are willing to share out of the wealth that God has given you to help those in need. Look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places this act of helping others as part of 
the ways in which you can gain Allah's mercy, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِنَا يُؤْمِنُونَ and those who believe in our signs and in our uh, Quran as ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So brothers and sisters, the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready for all of us, and particularly in this month, it's a time where Allah will show his mercy and forgiveness. It is for us to reach and get that mercy by way of developing and, and making the, the value of compassion entrenched in our hearts, our willingness to help other people, our willingness to, to ease the affairs of other people and facilitate their work, and we do not become a burden to other people. I hope that in this Ramadan, you're able to better appreciate the value of Rahmah and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you're able to apply it in your lives, and through that, inshallah, you will be blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha, astaghfirullah al-azimah li walakum, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.